Hello and welcome to In Harm's Way Plays Feed the Beast Academy. Today we're going to make a hammer. What I'm looking at is th the parts. So it's going to take two of the large plates, one tough tool rod, and one hammerhead. We had discussed yesterday, kind of, what pieces we would want to use. So copper definitely for the modifier or for the handle because I like the well established we get XP every time I'm thinking we get 50 durability but we get 450 Ardite I think for the head no because the mining speed is way down maybe Ardite for the large plate and Manulin for the head 820 versus 990 it's not that much but we get 450 for each of those so let's do it that way uh, as those of you who could look into my Ardite for the plates now we're gonna need eight ingots per plate so this is going to be pretty good we need these two I think yeah, we're going to do manulin so that's nine and this requires eight two blocks so yeah that'll work So there's one, there's the second. The tough tool rod requires three. So we'll get that ready. We don't lose that much by making it a manulin. So there's that. We can put this up on the wall. Wait for our copper tough tool rod to come out. Then put that on our wall. Now we're just waiting on the manulin. Alright, so I was downstairs and I was mining with the piece that I had so that's gonna go there one of each of these is gonna go here all we need now is the hammerhead so the difference between the manual and hammerhead and the we're gonna need manual to rebuild it but Ardite's 990 manual 820 cobalt 780 so we're gonna get a little bit more than cobalt but not the speed but we're gonna get better attack I think that's a good trade I honestly believe that's a good trade so so far that's one ingot two ingots three ingots we're gonna get eight ingots out of it hopefully it's gonna keep doing its deal while we're pouring we actually got ahead of it so one ingot left and one block left of Ardite let's put one more block in there this should be done shortly alright so let's make that hammer. All right, so well established, insatiable, and stone bound. But it's a 2450 durability hammer. I'm I'm okay with that. Let's put 
that there. Put this back up on the wall. Let's go put our book away. I'm going to show you guys how I typically mine. Today's not going to be about getting all of the quests done. Today's going to be about uh, getting a little bit of, well for me at least, getting a little bit of mining done. Let's take a look at quests that we have left. In this section all we have left is making a chisel. A chisel simple. A chisel is one diamond or one iron and so the diamond or iron goes in the corner of a stick and pretty much it's a shapeless recipe you can make it anywhere but that's the chisel one of the things that the chisel does for us So there we go, we finished that. So our next step is going to be to storage, which, okay, fine. We can do this right away too. Let's, I'm, I'm going to show you guys in a minute what the chisel does for us. We're going to need one of these and we're going to need eight iron. So in order to upgrade to an iron, chest we have to put one blank and then the actual iron around it and what that does is that takes this chest that is only right here and it makes it as an iron basically as if it's a large chest you've got the same inventory as if it's a large chest now the cool thing about the chisel is that you can put stone, diorite, smooth stone, not salt, limestone, sandstone, huh, don't know why the aluminum's in there, but we're going to take it out, marble, you can put any of these in it and come up with, or and come out with different pieces. It's really great for getting the astral sorcery stuff. It's really cool for getting decorative stones. Um, one of the f one of my favorite stones is Celtic because the stone set. So let's show you Celtic because the stone set actually. has a, a pretty cool look to it when you've got it all pieced together. That's one of my favorites. But it's got a number of different ones and you can make you can change it anytime you want. You can do crack stone, weathered bricks, cracked bricks, wide bricks, encased bricks, braided or rayed bricks, small tiles. Most of these will give you a multi stone pattern to them when you use them. The other thing is that you can always go straight back to the cobble that you started with. Okay. So, let's take a look in our quest book. We did, did it not Make an eye of the mod iron chest. Use a bunch of new chests that explain it. Oh. <laughs> okay. So it wasn't make an upgrade. It was make the actual iron chest. Alright. So similar to how I just did it. An iron chest is made by putting a chest. Into a crafting table. With eight iron. I made the upgrade. I didn't actually make the iron chest. And like we just saw, what that's going to give us here is an actual upgrade. And then it's going to want us to make an iron to gold chest upgrade. And then we're going to get a gold to diamond upgrade for it. 
So, one iron, eight gold, and the upgrade is very similar to what we just saw. It's one iron in the middle, eight gold around it. There we go. Um, let me put this tool away. And that aluminum away. And I think that's it for that line. We're going to work the compact storage line at some point too, especially for our uh, bonsai trees downstairs. So, iron. The iron chest gives us basically a, a large chest. The gold chest gives us one more set of rows. And then the diamond chest which I believe is the biggest of this series keeps the same nine rows but adds three more columns so you get much more storage I know I said I wasn't just going to do two quests today but I, I want to get into some technology we can make a coal furnace. We have the capability thanks to what we found at a coal furnace I think gives us what 60? So coal furnace is two charcoal or coal. We'll keep the rest for later. I'm going to put this in here we are going to grab one of our iron casings and we have enough so you put an iron casing here you put two coal there and you put cobble here now I don't know if a coal generator loses power it might um, at some point we're going to go that way. I'm going to take everything down here one layer. We're going to go down one more layer so that this is our floor layer. Just because I don't want to end up having to break this. But we're going to move that way and, and hook up to our mine underground. I might do that between episodes. But for now, that's a coal generator. A coal generator will give us 60 RF per tick, 60 CF per tick. Let's look it up in the actually additions. So the coal generator, according to the, generates, th I'm sorry, 30, through use of everything that you can put into any fur furnace. Note that it only starts burning something up if the buffer isn't already full of power. It will stop generating when powered by redstone. Additionally, using a comparator will yield the percentage of energy stored. So basically what's going to happen is this is going to fill up, but keep burning the way I'm reading it it's gonna fill up but keep burning until it's it's out of fuel it will keep this stored but it'll keep using so let's see so it's no longer burning but it's still powered to 48 all right so let's see if that'll get us to 60 should get us to 64 I believe but we'll see as a fuel in here no nope, that's not what I was looking for yeah it just smelts eight items it doesn't really tell me what I was hoping to, it would tell me but so we're at 60 
it stopped burning so until it's actually used it'll stay there I'm good with that but that got us one more quest done oh we get coal coke nice this will generate even more for us so we can swap that out for that we can build a pitiful fuel generator a magmatic dynamo and a steam powered dynamo I've seen it says to make the manual but we already have the manual don't we okay so it gave us that because we we were able to pick it up an atomic reconstructor which that's not a bad thing to have use RF to convert items to other items it shoots a laser converts the ground around where it hits it shoots where whenever it has the power to you can right click it with a redstone torch to make it trigger when given a signal that's probably the way we're gonna make it but so a pulverizer, a redstone furnace, an energy cell, leadstone flux duct. This is all stuff we're going to use to get into or to, to work the technology. Energy translocators. Worse than pipes. Okay. And then under advanced technology, we're going to start getting into some of the better stuff that we're going to use with technology. Let us see if there's a ranged pump in here. I'm not seeing a ranged pump. That's a mana pump. That's a fluid pump from industrial foregoing. And accepts a range add-on. I think it was a ranged pump. So that might be a different set of mods than this one. I've watched a lot of Direwolf 20 and he likes to use the raged pumps in the nether with magmatic dynamos in the overworld in order to hi in order to make power it's typically for him an early early game power source so I'm thinking I was just thinking maybe we should go that route but I've seen other ways of doing it uh, one of the ways I think Petrified fuel generators are good. Really? I don't know what he was thinking he was going to get done, but knocking on my door is not going to do anything but get you killed. Or beating down my door is not going to do anything but getting you killed. Alright, so we've done a couple of things this episode. What I'm going to do between episodes, I don't know if I've shown you guys. How we mine, or how I mine. I may not have, but it's not. I, I kind of strip mine, but don't. It's slightly different. I'm glad we still have our googly eyed. Ah, we got a. We unlocked another hat. Pr 
pretty sure. Yeah, that that was nice. We're gonna have to thin that herd at some point in the near future. Okay, so as I was saying, I don't know if I've shown you guys how I typically <laughs> I'm okay with it being outside <laughs> with that witch being outside of our base. Not okay with that witch being in our base. So Alright, so the way that I normally do this is I start with the central point, a th three by three, and I work my way out, and I do five spaces between torches. So I work my way around so that there's two spaces between the wall. What that does is it gives us a chance to get any resources that are on one side of the wall or the other side of the wall. Normally, my next story down would be two blocks from this one so that this block here and the one on the underside becomes the ceiling and that's how we do it. But basically that's how I mine. And then I come back to pick up whatever's in the wall and I use typically a combination of dirt and cobble or just cobble depending because you get a lot of cobble from doing this and so I set this up by going the number that I'm gonna go out around to here and then pick up whatever I'm gonna pick up so every once in a while I need to store the stuff that we're not wanting to keep in the backpack. The reason that this is wide open here is because I took a lot of dirt from here by ore mining the dirt. I guess I could strip mine since I have this tool. So right now, if I were to go this way, I'd be in the corridor next to us. So I need to go f one more set this way before I head that way. And like I said, I typically take the stuff out of the wall as I pass it. And every once in a while, we put away the stuff that we don't want to keep or the stuff that we get a whole bunch of that's going to fill our inventory fairly quickly. Sometimes I'll go with the two backpack method where one of the backpacks is just ore storage and the other one is the miscellaneous rock. I was just mentioning or I just mentioned Dire Wolf 20 his method, I mean, his, his, he's got a method to it, but his backpack method, he keeps extra tools, especially his building gadgets, in his backpack. And as he's going around, he uses the, the other portion to... He does a single backpack method, and so this is all of, will end up being all of his that he wants to keep. And he'll leave on the floor to despawn those things that he doesn't feel he wants to keep. And that's that's a good method too. I've I don't know why I'm very loath to get rid of stuff 
at this point in my still learning to play modded Minecraft. So it's funny because we'll get several episodes in and I'll have two or three crates full of cobblestone or two or three or more crates full of cobblestone just cuz I'm like I said I, I end up being low to get rid of anything all right that's gonna do it for us for today so hope you guys enjoyed it we will talk to you next time my name's in harm's way I hope you have a great day bye bye